After that, you're going to play the fifth fret of the A string. So it sounds like this. So this pinch harmonic is still resonating when I hit the fifth fret. So optional, do a pull off from the fifth to the third, but you can also hit the notes separately. So in total, you have this. I'm going to do it a little bit slower. So go through this part slowly and then I'll explain the next part. After that, you're going to hit an E minor, bottom three strings again, remove the index finger, play the A string, put it back. And this time you play the bottom two strings or the bottom three strings. The tap say bottom two, but you can also just do the whole chord. Then you're going to hit an open A string again. And then you're going to pluck the bottom two strings again. And while these bottom two strings are resonating, you do a little arpeggio like this. So it's... What makes this interesting is that this plug is part of the main melody and this is not part of the main melody. I just put it there to fill up the void, to fill up the space in the arrangement, otherwise it would sound a little bit empty. It's a stylistic thing that I insert in my fingerstyle arrangements a lot, so that's why I do it. So in total you would have So the whole thing, you repeat from here. After that, you go back to this grip. So that is the very first grip we talked about. So you're going to repeat the part, but then the outro is a little bit different. So the first outro was like this. But then the second time, it's going to be like this. So third fret E string, open A string, third fret A string. I'm hitting this with my ring finger because after that I'm gonna go to an F. So if I would use my middle finger here, it would become a lot harder actually to make that switch. So the momentum of this riff is... So it's not... Can you hear the difference? So after that you're gonna go straight for the F. You can also hit this with your pink actually, so... Whatever works for you. Now we're gonna do a down stroke, followed by C string, A string. So I'm just gonna preview it a bit. You see, so pluck all the strings, down stroke, G, A, and now, so the arpeggio is, so, You should play this note a little bit softer because it's not part of the main melody but it is there to fill up the space so you see how i'm kind of playing this one softer okay now you're gonna play first fret e string followed up by the third fret on the e string i'm hitting it with my pink so it's so plug Now you see a one and a three in the tabs. This is the main melody again. So one, three, open string. So you really don't have to change this position because we're gonna go straight to an F. We're gonna pluck all the strings followed up by downstroke. So it's, make sure to wait a little bit with the pluck. So it's, After that, we're going to play the G string and the A string. Your fingers are already positioned, so you don't need to change anything here. Make sure to play the G string a little bit softer than the other strings, because this is there to fill up space. It's not there for the main melody. So it's G, A, and now you're going to play G, E. So it's... So I'm pointing at the 2, 0, 2, 1 thing in the tabs here. 
And this is not part of the main melody. So make sure to really kind of differentiate that for yourself. What is part of the main melody and what is there to fill up the space? Because then you can add more dynamic to how you're playing. Okay, now we're gonna play the first fret on the E string. Your index finger is already there. So first fret, and then with your pink, you're gonna hit the third fret of the E string. And then you're gonna hit the open A string. You don't need to change anything here. So to summarize, So I'm playing it slow, so that's why it sounds a little bit, you know, stoppy. But when you play it quickly, it sounds like this. So make sure that your pink is still on the third fret of the E string, because now we're going to let go of all the other fingers except that pink. It's the same type of vibe as the F chord we just played. So with the F chord, it was pluck, strum, G, A, G, E. And now with this grip, it's going to be pluck, strum. So it's the same thing. Now we're going to play a little riff again. We're going to do that same thing. So pluck, G string, strum. So I'm going to summarize it from the first time we played the F. So pluck, G string, strum. You can also leave this empty, but just to add some diversity, I added this note over here. So pluck, G, strum, take off all your fingers, open G string, and now you're gonna lay down a B flat, which is ring finger on the third fret of the G, middle finger on the second fret of the C, and your index finger on the first fret of the E string, like this. So it looks like an E minor, but you actually play it here. So then you're gonna play the top three strings. Then you're gonna play E string, G string, open A string. And then you're gonna put your ring finger on the third fret of the E string. And then you're gonna pluck the top three strings, followed up by a G string, strum. I'm just gonna summarize it by playing it slow first and then faster. And now faster. added a G and an A string at the end just to fill up the space. I really hope you like this tutorial and I hope to see you soon in the next video.